Hey everyone, I'm Erin Bassett. Today I'm going to show you how I created these Aloha cards using my Scan and Cut. Before you get started on this project, make sure you download all of the cut files. Start off by loading the card front file onto your Scan and Cut. If you're using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, you should be able to fit four of those onto it. After those are cut, you'll go ahead and put your stamp material onto your cutting mat and then load your tropical leaves file and the Aloha file onto your scan and cut. You'll cut all of those designs out of your stamp material. Switch out the standard blade for the deep cut blade and then do a test cut to ensure that you have the correct settings. When you begin cutting, your machine will automatically do the test cut and then pause so that you can evaluate it. My test cut cut out perfectly, so I'm ready to continue cutting. Once you have all your stamp pieces cut out, you're ready to just put it onto the acrylic block, ink it up, and stamp it onto the card front. Be sure to wipe off any excess ink from the stamp block so that it doesn't transfer onto your card. One of the things I love about using these clear stamps is that if I want to stamp over it so it can be darker or if I miss a spot, I can do it and I can see it just fine. So go ahead and stamp all your leaves using different colors all around the front of the card. Once you're finished stamping, you're ready to add some clear embossing over the ink and then adhere it to your card front. Now, when I was doing this first card, I went ahead and put it on my card front first and then did the embossing. But a better way to do it is to really just do all your embossing first and then put your card face onto the front of the card. Now I keep my clear embossing powder in this little container and I'm just spooning on the powder all over that ink that is still a little bit on the wet side and then using a heat gun to melt it. Next you want to put your Aloha stamp face down onto the acrylic block so that when you stamp it, it comes out the correct way. So I'm just putting some embossing powder on the back side of it and again just cleaning up my stamp block and then stamping it right in that white center of my card. Now I'm sprinkling on some gold embossing powder and once again using my heat gun to heat that up. I love gold embossing powder. It really makes your cards look a lot more fancy than they really are. I love the simple elegance of this card, but I wanted to give you another option of adding a little bit more detail by putting faux stitching around the outside of the card. For more information about Brother Scan and Cut, visit scanandcut.com. And for more ideas and inspiration, visit erinbassett.com.